Yo, we in the high riding. Yo, yo, yo. GD. <laughs> Miss Charlene Newlands is well known as Janimbi's business manager. She has worked for Genius Katungura for seven years. She started off managing his media sites in South Africa. Then after two years, she began working with him in the trucking and gas business. She claims a lot of people did not know he was much invested in energy and trucking business, even in Botswana. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News Mzansi. Now, if you're new to the channel, you know you love the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. So people are asking so many relevant questions such as why is she not mentioning the names of the companies he owned? Why has no company management come out with condolence messages since their boss died? With all the self-proclaimed educated management team behind his success, no website for his companies has been found in any country that she claimed he has businesses. There is no company that makes millions and does not have a website. She could not answer directly any questions regarding the future of the business. She only said, let the family grieve their loved ones and the family itself is not focusing on who is taking what. In a nutshell, she did not give anything away, which leaves a lot of questions and room for speculation on how legit Janimbi's businesses were. Now, Mzansi, do take a look at her interview and don't forget that I do love to hear from you. So do leave your comment on the comment section below. But for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hot just the way you like it his media side because he wanted to be known in South Africa at first and then after about two years I started to work with him a lot in the trucking business he's big in gas he's actually in the top three in the gas business in Botswana which a lot of people were not aware of so that's something which uh, you know it's actually nice that you ask such a question because he was big in gas he was big in uh, you know in energy when it comes to doing a uh, trucking business in diesel etc so I started to get involved more instead of just doing media for him but getting you know doing a lot of work for him more on the corporate side when it comes to his businesses well uh, when you look at Botswana he's got uh, about a hundred and something workers in South Africa it was a smaller team there's more drivers actually than the ones that are in the office so yeah he's got actually a quite a big team that works for him so we've had rumors that in the past two months he had started selling his trucks in South Africa. <laughs> uh, what can you say about that? No, it's not true. In the past uh, two months he was actually working on upgrading certain things. He's got a he had a big fleet. Okay, we're talking about he had about 26 trucks. So for him, with, with trucks, it's normal in business when you sell other trucks to buy more. So he wasn't selling to say I'm dying or selling because his business was going down. But he was selling because the, the, the trucks had depreciated and he was just upgrading to the next. All right, so mm. now what's the plan? What's going to happen to the business? Is there any specific plan or something that maybe he had said he must do? After you know the thing with genius that's why many people thought he wasn't working he had he was excellent when it comes to creating a structure he dele his delegation was amazing he knew how to delegate work how to delegate duties so you find that all the companies the structures are very strong it's just very unfortunate that he was the brains behind the structure everyone who was working for him he was the brains even if all of us were educated more than he was but there was something that he had inside which he could manage to structure things and say no we need to restructure we need to do things and then for us who who went far you know studying and educ you know getting into education would now put you know a bit of the books into the way he was structuring things so there is actually an amazing structure you know when it comes to his companies it's just unfortunate that the brains the person who would come up with new ideas is gone now how many companies were under his <laughs> when you say how many companies were under his name, let's say the number of companies that he founded were a couple of them. We can talk about more than seven companies. Yeah. All right, and so people have been saying that his sister is going to take over their businesses. Uh, what do you have to say about that? We have been saying that she's the one who's going to take over everything that he, he left. <laughs> you know what, I think um, right now it's important for, for people to just understand that the family is mourning. The family is not focused on who is taking what. The family is, is hurt 
that he's gone. But, you know, it's, it's sad that people outside, are, you know, are calling up. They've got different articles, different news going around. But I can tell you now, the family is not focused on uh, what's going on with the business or what's going on with the assets. They are actually worried. They are hurt because they've lost someone they loved so much.